Ladies and gentlemen, come gather around, come gather around, come gather around. Today, lucky level threes, you guys have made your lathe sharpening tool bit. I'm going to show you how to sharpen your lathe cutting bit. Then I'm going to show you how I cheat. <laughs> Let's go! Okay, in three grinding actions, you're going to grind a face angle, you're going to grind a side angle, and while you're doing each of those, you're trying to each of them do half of your nose angle, and then the last part is this wedge angle. And they're different for different materials. This is the one we're doing today. I'm going to be close to the grinding stone, so to make sure that I don't hurt myself, I'm actually not going to wear gloves. I always wear gloves when using machinery, but I'm close to the stone and I don't like that. So I'm taking off my watch, my wedding ring, my I'm allergic to children bracelet, and then I'm not so worried about getting caught in a machine because it's just me. But I'm not going to get caught in a machine because that would be dumb. Let's go check out the machine. So this machine has an on button and an off button. And I like to stand to one side when I turn it on. So if this stone is going to explode, I don't have to catch it in the teeth. This side's a wire wheel. We're not going to use it. Look through the window. Wear eye protection. Don't put your fingers in there. That's dumb. I am removing the guard so you can see. You are not to remove the guard. The first angle I typically do is the face angle and half of the nose angle. And I kind of rest it up on my fingers and I hold it up at a slight angle in two different planes. And with practice, you'll get this. But you're shooting for a face angle and half of the nose angle. Different materials have a different kind of uh, angle that you need to put, whether you're doing cast iron or steel or brass. Um, I don't know what this gauge is set for right now. I found it in my drawer of gauges. It might not even be mine, but I'm going to try and match it to that. You can match the one that you made to the drawing in the booklet because I can't scale the angles up or down. The second angle you're going to do is like this. This is your side angle and the other half of the nose. These, the face and the side angle give you back rake or a relief so the cutter can actually do the cutting for you. And you want to make sure, I and mean, your gauge gives you the exact angle, but if you don't have a nose angle that's tighter than 90 degrees, you can never cut a 90 degree shoulder. So it's, it all depends on how I start it. How I start the face uh, angle kind of dictates what I end up doing for the side angle. So I don't have quite a tight enough side angle on here, so I'm just going to be giving it a little bit of a steeper angle and with a bit of trial and error, you can make it happen. Now, when you're grinding a real cutter, uh, you don't want to really let the metal get red hot or even turn blue. You want to be gentle. I'm having you sharpen mild steel because it's a whole lot cheaper. In the, the third angle that you're going to do is the wedge, which comes in here. I just use the corner of the wheel and I try to get it at just the right angle so that I get a nice little relief on the back uh, the trailing part away from the tip. Remember when you're cutting, you're cutting with just the corner. You try not to cut with the flat or you get a big chatter. There's the nose and we're going for the wedge. Right in there like that. If you get a good, even if this is mild steel, it'll cut. It just won't, it won't stay sharp for very long. But this works. For students, I don't grind them this way because they tend to be problematic long term. However, face, side, nose, and the last thing we do is wedge. Good idea to have a relief uh, hole or cut in there so that you can get the tip of your cutter in the guide. But here's another kind of, these are just looking at it from another way. The face, the side, and then that corner angle there. Practice, play around with it, you'll get it. That's why I give you a piece of mild steel. I don't care if it's really short by the time you're done. There's your face, there's your side. Check the nose, make sure it's tighter than 90 degrees. Check the wedge, give it a good old wedgie. Now this way of sharpening is not for the students. This is for you shop teachers who get tired of sharpening lathe cutters. 
I leave it in the holder like this and I just make sure I cut it tighter than 90 degrees. This way you don't have to have a left facing cutter and a right facing cutter and who knows what's going to happen. It's <laughs> The tips get wrecked pretty quick but this is a nice quick and easy way of getting the lathe cutters back up and running so kids can machine their projects. And then just give it a little bit of nose over on the edge. The bigger the radius, the smoother the finish. If you just have it to a knife edge, not going to work. So this side is cut, is designed to cut in that direction with the corner and you want to cut with the corner as much as possible. If you want to go the other direction, I usually grind the other side the opposite way for going in that direction. Let's say this tip gets destroyed. To fix it, you've got to grind it all off again to reshape it and you're going to go through a lot more steel. On the other hand, my cheating way doesn't give you as nice a cut. However, for high school kids, this is going to save you a lot of time in sharpening lathe cutters because just a quick touch to get a new tip on there and this thing is going to cut just fine. If you want to get fussy and do a good job, this is the way to go. Um, a lot of different ways of doing it. That's the way I sharpen them. Sharpen them by hand. So for you guys in level three, you've made the lathe bit gauge. You're going to sharpen a lathe bit the expensive way, the proper way, with all those angles, the side, the face, the nose, the wedge, and get them all just perfect. Show me, impress me. And then, once it's successfully sharpened, we will mark the lathe bit gauge. And if you're a shop teacher looking for tips, sharpen yours a cheating way. You can thank me later. As always, thanks for watching. Take care.